The Duke of Sussex showed the same energy as wife Meghan Markle as he arrived for an event celebrating the fifth anniversary of the Invitus Games in Guildhall, central London, last night. Prince Harry broke with royal tradition by closing his own car door in a humble gesture that followed in the footsteps of wife Meghan. The Duke of Sussex, 35, was chauffeured to a bash celebrating the fifth anniversary of the Invitus Games at Guildhall, central London, yesterday. Harry was pictured exiting the vehicle himself instead of delegating the task to a member of the royal household, flouting the usual protocol for such events. Observers pointed out that he appeared to be twinning with wife Meghan who opened and closed a car door while arriving at the Royal Academy of Arts in London last year. Social media users praised her as humble and down-to-earth for the unexpected gesture. No stuffy airs and graces with the Duchess, love her for it, one social media user said at the time. Fan account at Harry underscore and underscore Meghan underscore updates pointed out Harry's exit on Instagram, saying, Wow, same energy under snaps of the pair side by side. The prompted one social media user to say that Harry was twinning with his wife. Posting images of the move on Twitter, one commented, Archie's dad looking handsome. Oh and he closed the door himself. How about that? Love, love, love this picture and I love, love, love Meghan and Harry, another user said. Royal commentators say such gestures are rare and may signal that the couple are intending to do things their own way. William Hansen told the Mail Online, the Duchess of Sussex closing her own car door is yet another silent signal that she is going to be doing things her own way and helping adapt and progress the British monarchy. Whether she thought long and hard about it before it happened, I doubt it. I suspect it was force of habit, but it is interesting to see that many have noticed, as usually dignitaries have a member of staff to do this for them. That comes from a security point of view, mainly, not just for perpetuating airs and graces. During the event last night, Harry delivered a moving speech that described the games as being genuinely one of the greatest honors of my life. Speaking to the crowd, Harry said, wow, what a huge amount has happened in five years. The one thing that hasn't happened is limbs haven't grown back. But one thing I can assure you is that mental health has completely changed with every single one of these individuals. The Invitus Games was launched by Harry in 2014 and has seen thousands of wounded and injured servicemen and women use sport to rehabilitate themselves and inspire people all over the world. Since then, the non-profit organization has staged games in London, Orlando, Toronto and Sydney and next year's games will be held in The Hague in May 2020. It was the door slam heard around the world. A year ago, Meghan Markle made headlines for a minor royal faux pas and now her husband is repeating her actions. On Tuesday, Prince Harry shut a car door with his very own hands while attending the fifth anniversary of the Invitus Games. Cue the gasps. Per the unspoken rules, the 34-year-old was supposed to let a member of the royal household open and close the door for him, as it has been the tradition since the invention of cars and carriages. So, of course, royal watchers were up in arms over the Duke of Sussex seemingly flouting royal traditions, especially in light of the controversy surrounding him and his wife. However, fans of the famous couple are praising the gesture as a sign of Prince Harry's humble nature. The controversy surrounding this latest break in tradition is a sign of the intense scrutiny Meghan and Harry are under. While Kate Middleton and Prince Harry tend to also push the boundaries of royal protocol, their actions don't draw nearly as much attention as Meghan and Harry do. Most recently, the pair drew ire after they took a trip to France on Elton John's private jet. The self-proclaimed environmentalists were criticized because, just a week prior, Harry stated that they would only have two kids in an effort to conserve the resources the Earth still has. I've always thought, this place is borrowed. And, surely, being as intelligent as we all are, or as evolved as we all are supposed to be, we should be able to leave something better behind for the next generation, he explained. These statements came off as entirely hypocritical since flying in a private jet is very harmful to the environment. But, 
Elton claimed this was necessary to maintain a high level of much needed protection for Meghan, Harry, and Archie Harrison. Moreover, Meghan's A-list friends, including Ellen DeGeneres, defended their decision to ditch commercial flights, especially considering the Duke and Duchess do so much to save the world. Imagine being attacked for everything you do, when all you're trying to do is make the world better, Ellen shared. Perhaps their good deeds from their upcoming trip to Africa, will sway the public opinion in the royals' favor.